What's good? What's good? 8572. I had to come back strong, right? Let me see if my guy JT about to pop back in here. What's good? Again, for the people that wasn't on my first uh, stream that just got disconnected, again, my name is Travis Cooper. Uh, through the grace of God, I've been able to build a multi six figure Amazon business. And I'm here just to teach y'all some of the game, right? We're going to show you a little bit of the game. Tonight, I just want to get into the intro of FBA versus FBM. I know the screen is backwards or my board is backwards here, but I'm going to make sure I tell you guys exactly everything you need to know. So don't worry about it looking backwards. We're going to get that hooked up. I'm going to make sure to tell you guys exactly everything. All right. So let's talk about uh, the fulfillment methods of Amazon. It has two fulfillment methods. So whenever you have your products in, we can either choose FBA or FBM, right? I know you guys see, you know, uh, plenty of advertisement like FBA, but what is FBA? FBA stands for Fulfillment by Amazon. That's whenever you get your products in. They go my guy here. Let me see if I can pull them, pull them back in real quick. Y'all hold on one second. Let me bring my guy in. I ain't going to keep y'all too long. What's up? What's up, bro? Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can hear you now. I'm back. Okay, okay. Yeah, appreciate you joining back in. Again, everybody, I apologize. I don't know what happened with IG. I think they know that uh, I was about to give y'all some cold game, and they like, ah, oh, let, me, let me shut them off. Let me turn them off. It's too much. It's too much heat. <laughs> you, you want to say anything, bro, before I get this quick spill. Oh, no, no, no. Go ahead. Do your thing, bro. All right, y'all. I ain't going to keep you long. I'm a little old, so it's about past my bedtime, but we're going to get into this little bit of game here. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all. So, again, we were talking about FBA. What is, what's going on with you? We were talking about FBA. So, what is FBA? I see these millions of ads on how you can make, you know, $100,000 a month with FBA. What is FBA. FBA is fulfillment by Amazon. Now, Travis, what does that mean, right? That means that whenever we get our products in from Amazon, uh, I'm sorry, not from Amazon, whenever you source your products, we need to ship them to a fulfillment center. Now, I'm located um, in South Carolina. We have plenty of fulfillment centers all over the place. In your area, you've probably seen these huge warehouses. We're going to ship our products into there. Amazon is going to handle the customer service. They're going to handle the returns and any other hiccups, right? So that's that FBA that you guys have been here. And yes, you do have to pay a fee for Amazon to use their service. Now, let's get into what is not so popular. It's called FBM. That's fulfillment by merchant, or some people may refer to it as merchant fulfill. Now, what is merchant fulfill? Merchant fulfill is whenever you get your products in, whether it's at your apartment, whether it's in your garage, whether it's in your warehouse, and you're going to ship it directly to the customer. So how does that work? Whenever you get an order in, you're going to get an email that comes to your phone. It's going to say, so I need congratulations or something like that, a generic message. So ship this uh, product out within one to two business days, depending on how you got your account set up, right? Um, so then, instead of shipping into Amazon, we're going to bypass Amazon and ship it directly to the customer, right? So we're skipping. Amazon is the middleman. Boom, shooting it straight to the customer. That's the difference between the two. Y'all stay with me. I ain't going to keep you too long. Now, the purpose of this live is to tell you the difference between when to use FBA versus when to use FBM, okay? Let's talk about it real quick. All right, let's start with FBA. When is a good time to use FBA, right? Because this is always a common question. In my business, I do a little bit of both. But when is a good time for you if you're just starting or looking to get started to sell on Amazon? FBA, your first rule I like to look at. If your product is small and it's lightweight, you probably want to go with FBA, right? You want something small, light, and it needs to be moving, right? One thing about Amazon FBA uh, Amazon does charge you per month that you store your products there and the amount of space that you take up in their warehouse. So we need to be strategic with what items we need to send in, right? So if your products that you have, whatever you're selling, if it's small and light, FBA might be for you. Number two, 
if you prefer Amazon's customer service and managing the customer, um, and you, let's just say you're a brand new business owner and you don't really know the, the B2C or business to consumer type um, business model, you might want to go with FBA because you're brand new. Um, just trust Amazon. We know Amazon is the number one e-commerce platform in the world. Just lean on Amazon, sit, uh, ship your products in, and let them take care of it for you. Number three, if your inventory has a high turnover rate. So I touched on that a little bit more. So that just means the turnover rate. That just mean that just means, excuse me, that it's selling pretty quickly, right? We need to make sure it's moving because what's going to happen if it doesn't move? Amazon is going to keep taxing us month by month that it doesn't move, and Amazon likes their inventory to stay pretty much lean or their warehouses to stay lean. The next step, number four, if you don't have the space. Now, I, I do have a warehouse, guys, but everybody's not in the position. You might be in New York where real estate is super expensive. You're like, man, I, I can't afford a warehouse. Use Leverage FBA, and they can take care of all of that for you. The next thing. If you don't mind paying extra Amazon fees, we know that Jeff Bezos, he's going to get his dollars. He's going to get his money. So if you're using his company as a service, man, we got to pay him because they're basically your employee. So we're going to be paying extra in Amazon fees if you use the FBA. Okay. The next thing, you would use FBA if your expenses would be higher if you merchant fulfilled. Now, what does that mean? You're using all this language, Trav, I can't follow you. All right, let's break it down. So you would use FBA because we know Amazon has partnerships with UPS, with FedEx, with DHL, if it's available in your area. So they're able to get cheaper rates to ship it in to their fulfillment center. So it may cost you because we ain't, we're, we're not big like Amazon, right? We don't have those discounts. So it may cost you more to merchant fulfill your product, shipping it straight to the to the customer, than it would be to ship it to an FBA and let uh, Amazon handle that. So these are, you know, what I came up with on when to use FBA. Now let's go down this field of FBM, and I'm gonna get y'all out of here. We ain't gonna keep you all night. All right. So the first thing on when I would use FBM, if your products are oversized, right, and they heavy, like we we already said on the first on the first side of the board with FBA, we don't want anything large. We don't want anything heavy because Amazon is going to tax you for taking up their real estate inside of their warehouse. Number two, um, you would use uh, FBM or Merchant Fulfill um, whenever you have an excellent customer service system in place. So if you're a brand new business owner, you're not cold with the customer service. I know down in the South, I look at Chick-fil-A, man. It's a prime example. I don't care if you see a Chick-fil-A, their customer service. JT, what about you? When you pull up the Chick-fil-A, how's that customer service, man? Oh, yeah, it's the best fast food customer service out. <laughs> no debating. I don't care who you ask. Chick-fil-A is going to hold it down. So if you don't have your Chick-fil-A game on, hey, just go ahead and go with FBA. You got to kind of um, get trained on being because we're serving. Even though those customers are giving us money and we're giving them the products, we're serving them. Um, so we got to be able to deliver that value to them. All right. The next thing where, where you would choose Merchant Fulfill is if you want to have more control over your inventory. Now, the thing about FBA is sweet. They tell you all the benefits, how much money you can make, but let's keep it above. Amazon deals with a lot of sellers. Um, they do have hiccups. So what happens if you send in $100,000 worth of inventory in there and it gets lost, right? Can you withhold that in your business and have enough money to float for four to six months till they reimburse you or find out where that shipment um, has been? The good thing about FBM, if it's a hiccup, you can go and put your hands on that product right there. So if Amazon, you can't sell it on Amazon, you can go local, you can go to Macari, you can go to eBay because the, your products are in your possession. So it gives you more control over that customer service experience and it gives you more control over your inventory. All right, the next thing, uh, we, got, we got two more y'all, we out of here. If you want greater margins, right, 
and you know how to manage a team, you might want to use FBN. Why? Because you don't have to pay those highest FBA fees. If you pay someone an hourly rate in your area, man, you can really squeeze or uh, milk or squeeze the little bit of juice left out of that lemon and you can make more money. The profit margins are going to be greater if you're paying and you have enough inventory to withstand those daily um, hourly rates that you're paying people. The next thing, you want to choose FBM if you can reduce your fulfillment expenses, right? So if it's cheaper for me to ship something directly to the customer than to send it in the FBA, then um, FBA fulfills the order, you want to use FBM in that. Now, I use a hybrid between the two. I just wanted to come on and give you guys a quick breakdown between the two, FBA, FBM, and hopefully you guys got some game tonight. Man, JT, you got anything you want to say before I get out of here, bro? I appreciate nah, you. Nah, man, that's it, man. I appreciate you breaking it down. So if those of you don't know who he is, click in the top left corner, follow him. You want to learn how to make more money online. Appreciate you, man. Love y'all. Be blessed. We'll see y'all on the next one. Let's go.